What is up guys, welcome to the vlog. Before we get too far in today's video, I do wanna give a shout out to today's video sponsor, and that is Cove. Cove creates these awesome little Bluetooth portable speakers, which come in so clutch for when you're working in the garage. In my case, I was cleaning up my little storage unit to organize some of the parts for my WRX, and I don't know about you guys, but music is a huge part of my life, and having a little speaker like this that is super loud, really high quality sound, and has a good amount of bass as well, is awesome for when you're doing work outside, traveling, or even when you're getting pumped to go to the gym, which I'm gonna do in a little bit. This speaker is amazing for that, and like I said, has really awesome high quality sound, good bass, and you can bring this little thing anywhere. It connects to your phone, iPad, whatever you want it to, it's Bluetooth, so it comes in really handy. Also has two different modes, as an indoor and an outdoor mode, so you can set it to sound the absolute best, whether you're outside in the garage or inside in your kitchen, mixing up some pre-workout, which is really, really cool. So huge shout out to Cove, these things are amazing. You can check the link on the screen and in the description down below and use my code to save yourself some money on these, I highly recommend you buy one if you're into music or you just need a little speaker to play some music. I have their commuter series. Check them out, use my code. You can jam out anywhere you want to. But now let's get in to today's video. So first off, we got the new Legends Media backpacks. These came out incredible. You guys saw these a couple of videos ago. We only have about one or two weeks until this is released September 16th, along with the rest of the Legends Media fall drop. So be sure not to miss out on these because there are a very, very limited amount of the first run. And if you guys enjoy these, we may do different colors and stuff, but yeah, these will drop with the fall drop. But the reason why I came to my little garage today was because I was supposed to mount the tires on the WRX wheels today, but then I remembered these are the tires that I have for the WRX wheels over there. And when I looked at them, these tires are 265, 35, 18s. That's a good size, but for the size of wheels that I have for the WRX, they are 18 by 11 and a half, negative six, which is super freaking wide. And a 265.35 I don't think is going to work with those wheels. You guys can tell me differently if you do think 265.35 will fit with an 18 by 11 half negative six, then maybe we can go get we can go get them mounted next week when I get back from my visit home. But I thought these are 275.35, which is what I really need to fit those wheels in. I know a lot of you weren't subscribed when I got these wheels for the WRX, so I will show you those in a second. But today's video is kind of a bust because I'm not gonna mount these tires. So even though we can't mount out the WRX wheels today on those tires. The car will be done either by the end of this week or early next week. So I do want to get them mounted as soon as possible. So I'm definitely gonna have to go get some tires soon. But for those of you who don't, <laughs> these are huge. I forgot how big these are. For those of you who don't know what the wheels are that I have for the WRX, let's check them out. All right, bro, so let me put these on here. These are three-piece Workmeister S1 wheels, and these have been my dream wheels since I can remember. I got these almost about a year ago, and um, when I got them, they were full black, they had a matte black face and a gloss black lip, and I have completely rebuilt these, recolored them, all thanks to Nifty Built Wheels that helped me rebuild these, get the sizing and everything, and unfortunately, right as I was about to put these wheels on, someone crashed into my car due to drunk driving. So these have just been sitting for like six months or so, which is crazy, but the time is finally about to come when I can actually mount these wheels, so. For the new and improved look, we have the burning black faces along with a massive six inch polished barrel and all 24 karat gold hardware, which, which came originally from work. And if you look really closely, it all has the work emblems on there. So it's completely authentic, which these are my baby. I cannot see myself ever letting these go. I am so beyond stoked to get these on the car. And I was so excited to put those tires on the wheel, but I really do think I'm gonna have to wait. Let's go grab one of these and check it out. Dude, I don't know. That's so wide compared to this. Holy crap. So while filming these wheels, I kind of had a really crazy idea and I want to know you guys' opinion on this. So I know I was talking about wide bodying this car and completely changing it up pretty soon uh, once I have the WRX back, but I had the crazy idea. What if I wide bodied the car and put those wheels on this car and then got a new set for the WRX? 
Let's check and see how it looks. Oh, oh my God. Okay, it's a really bad, <laughs> it's a really bad representation of how it could look, but oh my gosh. Oh, oh, dude, I don't know. Oh my gosh. The way this wheel looks on the Evo's body style is insane. Now remember, I'd have the same bumper, but the fenders would be much, much wider, and so would the rear. So I mean, I know for a fact that these specs will fit with a little bit of modification, but oh my God. Polished lips would complement everything polished in the engine bay so well. I mean, the intercooler, the turbo, the manifold, everything in the engine bay is polished as well as the wheel. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna need some serious opinions here, guys. What do you think? I mean, it'd be kind of weird to have huge, heavy three-piece wheels on the car with a wide body and everything. So I kind of know the answer, but I just want to get your opinion on it. Like, is this something that you'd want to see or should I just strictly stay with beefier, more functional uh, stance on the Evo and leave the huge three-piece wheels for the WRX? I already think I know what I'm going to do, but I do want opinions from you guys because holy crap, those look so good but either way now you guys know exactly what wheels are going on the wrx but i have had a lot of questions about the varus front bumper yes i saw the varus front bumper it's currently at the body shop getting some repairs done along with the hood and the fender i still have the full carbon fiber lip as well as the splitter to put on the varus front bumper we're gonna figure something out about these let's go home and i have promised you guys that i do want to start doing uh, fitness stuff on my YouTube channel and I want to try and do that at least one time a week for right now So I'm gonna bring you guys along for the gym show you some supplements my workout routine that I'm doing with for this block So uh, let's head home I Finally made it back to the apartment. We're getting ready to go to the gym and perfect timing We just got a package from Sanj Nation and it's actually the samples of their new pre-workout as well as their protein Let's go and open this up check out the new flavors and Let's uh, mix together my little pre-workout concoction here. So for those of you who don't know, all of my supplements, I use Staunch Nation. You can use my code. It's on the screen and in the description box below. For today, they have some new flavors for the protein as well as their pre-workout. So, so for the protein, if you want to be extra white girl, they do have pumpkin spice for fall as well as they have Rad Rex Raspberry. I'm excited to try this, but my usual flavor of the pre-workout is Aussie Apple. It's really sour and I like sour, so it's what I use. But today, we're gonna try out the new sample of their pre-workout and pre-workout, so let's try it out. That is really freaking bomb. I also usually put some creatine as well as glutamine for recovery in my pre-workout. So if you're curious as to what I use, it's the Koala Freak creatine as well as glutamine. So all of this you can find on the Staunch Nation website. This. All right, good to go. Let's go lift some weight. Ah, sour at the end. So good. All right, let's go to the gym. All right guys, we finally made it to the gym. My training block is a little bit different because I was training for a powerlifting meet in November, but before I actually signed up the meet, the meet filled up so I can't actually compete in that powerlifting meet anymore. And I've, I'm actually now focusing on training for a bodybuilding show next summer. I really would like to compete in summer shredding. I'd like to compete in the physique bodybuilding class. So I'm really trying to bulk up for when I have to cut next year around February or something for that show. But I'm on a powerlifting training block right now. So this is my second week of that block. If you don't know much about powerlifting training or anything like that, sometimes less is more with your weight. And in this case, my second week of this block, less is more. So today's deadlift day. Let's go do it. Okay, we're gonna try something new here. We're gonna do some voiceover action while I'm lifting. So like I said previously, this is my second week of my powerlifting block. I'm just doing some warmups here with 135. We are doing some deadlifts. Um, so like I said, uh, in this training block, less is more. If you guys don't know, last year I tore my bicep and uh, 
actually training for this exact meet that I'm doing. So in this first block, second week, we are just gaining my strength and my confidence back in my deadlift and in my arm to be able to uh, lift heavy weight. Even though I'm not actually doing the powerlifting meet anymore, I do want to gain strength so that when I'm cutting, I do have a lot of that strength um, and a lot of it doesn't go away. And next up we are doing deadlifts again but using the trap bar to kind of target the upper back as well as still gaining explosiveness and confidence within uh, my arm and getting my deadlift weight back up. These are really lightweight, but like I said, it's only my second week of my first block in this powerlifting phase or, or bulking phase, if you want to call it that. So all of these weights will gradually go up as my confidence and my strength goes up as well. So we ended our workout with a little bit of accessory work. So unfortunately, my camera died after this, but you can see here we're doing some pull-ups. After the pull-ups, we did face pulls as well as lateral races for my shoulders and then uh, we called it a day in the gym. It may seem like a short workout, but when we get deeper into this training phase, a lot of that weight is going to be super, super heavy and I'm going to be tired out. So we're taking it easy and gradually working our way back up. All right, guys, we are finally back from the gym. Unfortunately, my camera died at the very end. You guys didn't miss too much, just a little bit of accessory work, but we did go to the store and get a little post-workout dinner meal going. We have got a New York strip steak, we've got a sweet potato, and we've got some asparagus. We're gonna make some gains tonight and we're gonna cook up some meat, show you guys what I usually eat. Uh, I'm currently downloading the new expansion for Destiny 2. I love Destiny, one of my favorite games along with Fortnite. So hopefully that downloads, I'll play a little bit of that tonight and edit, but cook up some gains, bros. Dinner is ready. So what we have here is eight ounces of the New York strip steak. We have one full sweet potato and a handful of asparagus. Making some gains here. Let's uh, let's try the steak. Oh! Oh my God. Number one, this is incredible. Number two, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I'm gonna finish dinner, play some Destiny, and then I go home to Mississippi tomorrow. So. Can have a little vacation and see my family. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. When I come back from Mississippi, the Subaru should be done and we can get started building that. I will see you guys in the next vlog. Peace out.